I'm Algernon Cash, and this is Eat Drink Triad, your number one source for what's happening with the local food and beverage industry. I'm here at Springhouse Kitchen Restaurant and Bar for the 12th annual Dr. Brownstone Sweet Summer Love Love Festival. This is our food festival where we bring chefs from all around the region, some even coming from other parts of the country, to host right here at Springhouse. So let's head inside and see what they have to offer. Chef, we're here at the Sweet Summer Love Love Sweet Festival, love. 12th year. Yes. Wasn't able to have it last year because of COVID. What is the Sweet Summer Love Love Festival? You know, that's a great question, and I get it all the time. But it's really an event that came together. Uh, so a bunch of like-minded old buddies, chefs in particular, but growers and farmers can get together, have a fun time, and sort of share our passion and our craft for cooking. And so it started as a barbecue weekend, and it's evolved into like this week-long event where chefs travel in from all over the country. For example, this year we have Washington, D.C., Tampa, Portland, St. Louis represented, as well as a half a dozen of the top chefs right here in Winston. So who are we featuring tonight from Winston? Uh, right tonight from Winston, one of my favorites and up-and-coming rock stars, Chef Ebony Warfield of Six and Vine. Really excited to have her with us tonight. We've got Chris Falk from Quanto Basta, amazing. We've also got the Providence Kitchen team here, led by Chef Jeff Bacon. So those are our locals tonight. Um, my team is also cooking. And then we have uh, Isaac Pendleton from Portland, Maine. Uh, we have Justin McMillan from St. Louis, Greg Picard from Tampa, and uh, Mark Beaupre from St. Petersburg. You got a nice crowd here. So yes. People are ready to get out. It's a hot night. Why is something like the Love Love Festival so important to the triad food scene? Well, I think number one for us as chefs and uh, participants, it's a great night to get together and fellowship and share, share what we do, what we love, right? And um, so for example, last night, Chef John Wilson, it was his second year with us. He was so excited to come back. We really wanted him back because we really had a great vibe and his food really represents Lexington to me. So it, it, great food, great people, and like a shared passion, I think, is really what it comes down to. We'll have uh, sold out events because people have really enjoyed it. I think we exceed expectations. I think it's a value and I think it's one of the most exciting events around town right now. Let's start off by talking about who is the man who ate the town. The man who ate the town. I have been a food blogger and podcaster in this town since 2007 and have gained a following as someone that people in this town trust as far as culinary news goes. Um, I have made it my job and my journey to, I don't go and try to tear down any restaurants or any food people. My job is to build up and promote. Now, if I don't like something, then I just, I, I critique it in a positive way and say, here's what I would have liked to have seen differently. or. I always encourage my listeners and my readers to try it for themselves because my opinion is just that, my opinion. Okay, so I've had, there's been uh, empanadas, there's been uh, taquitos, uh, vegetarian taquitos for those who are uh, into that. Um, uh, the tamales, the uh, poblanos, they were a little spicy, but I loved them. Uh, there was uh, pocket pizza that was home, a house made by uh, Chef Chris. There's um, hand roll uh, uh, sushi. There are uh, uh, dumplings. Everything's fantastic, but I, I think I've just had the best thing that I've had here tonight, and that is Chef Ebony's gumbo. Okay. That is fantastic. I wanna say four previous Love Love festivals, 
and I have gotten to participate in the bourbon one once before. Um, I love everything that Chef Tim Grenonetti is doing here. Um, I love that he brings in top-notch people to do top-notch food. It's a, it's a brotherhood, a sisterhood, uh, camaraderie, and there's nothing that I've had today, and I've had a lot. And look at me, I'm a, I'm a big guy. Never trust the skinny food bloggers, that's just so you know. <laughs> You're visiting from Atlanta. Do they have these types of food festivals where you, where you live? They do have those food festivals, but I've never actually been to any of the food festivals in Atlanta. So this is the first time I'm coming to a food festival in my own hometown, so. Okay, and um, you've actually been to Six and Mine. So you ate some of Chef Ebony Warfield's food before. Yes. Talk a little bit about what you had when you were at Six and Mine. I had the chicken mushroom. Um, it was really good. It was a delicious dish, I must say. It was like one of the best dishes. And I had been eating all night, so after I got to that, I definitely made room for that meal. What else do you want to try tonight before you leave? Um, the empanadas from um, this restaurant. The empanadas and um, I guess whatever else they have in here. I'm open to try anything tonight. <laughs> um, so, tell me about this gumbo that you have here tonight. Um, so it's a chicken and sausage gumbo. Um, it's a recipe that my husband and I have been playing with for years. Um, only secret I can tell you is it has a can of yingling in it. That's all I can tell you. A can of yingling? Yeah, that's okay. all I can tell you. Okay. But awesome. Awesome. everyone says they love it, and that's why I decided to bring it to the table today. It's crazy um, to just be here and be hanging out with everybody, people from around the United States. I think it's really cool. Everybody's bringing their own flavor no matter where they're from and everything is really good. I've been doing this for a while um, but in the last six months it seems as if finally the time has come you know um, so I'm just still humbled by it all um, taking it one step at a time and just taking this as just the first step and many more things I want to have to come in my future. Give a quick plug to the restaurant. Where are you? Address, uh, a little bit about Six and Vine. So we are in downtown Winston-Salem, right off 6th Street, right off Trade. Um, we're called Six and Vine. A great wine bar. We also have really good food, really good managers, a great staff. You can come down and pretty much get a little bit of anything. So we're not just stuck in one genre of cooking, even though we try to do a little Southern um, flair on everything. But hey, maybe one day I want to cook Chinese food, so you never know what you're going to get out of our kitchen. Another Dr. Brownstone Sweet Summer Love Love Festival is in the books. And I am so honored that I was able to bring this experience to you. Make sure you come on down to Spring House Restaurant, Kitchen, and Bar. Support Chef Tim Grandinetti. And stay tuned to Eat Drink Triad on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you for watching.